Honoured guests, the Prime Minister of Canada, the Premier Ministre du Canada, the Très Honorable Justin Trudeau. The Prime Trudeau. Minister of Canada, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau. Your Excellencies, Mr. Chief Justice, Mr. Speaker, distinguished guests and friends. Let me begin by recognizing that we are on the traditional land of the Algonquin people. We acknowledge them as past, present, and future caretakers of this land. Votre Excellence, Madame Simon. Your Excellency, Ms. Simon. It's an honor to be here today. As you become representative of Her Majesty the Queen in Canada, our 30th Governor General. In Canada, perhaps more than any other place on earth, we're defined by our diversity. We're still a country that is, in many ways, young. And yet, Indigenous peoples have called this place home for millennia. We are a country of vast Arctic spaces and busy city skylines, of prairies and coasts, of French and English, and of indigenous languages. This is a big place. This is a diverse place. And so we need people like Ms. Simon, because we need people who build bridges and bring us together. An officer of the Order of Canada and of the Ordre National du Québec, a leader in reaching Canada's first land claims agreement, and now Canada's first Indigenous Governor General. Your Excellency, your remarkable achievements are an example of what it means to build bridges in pursuit of the Canada to which we all aspire. A Canada de diversité et d'inclusion. A Canada of diversity and inclusion. A place where everyone is respected and where everyone can thrive. That is within our reach, thanks to leaders like Ms. Simon. So many youth saw their lives change for the better, thanks to Ms. Simon's work in the area of education. And parents will remember her as a courageous spokeswoman who fought to have Indigenous rights included in the laws of our country. The world recognized her work as ambassador for the protection of the Inuit Nunangat, and we will closely follow her commitment to the fight against climate change throughout the country. You remind us that true leadership is not measured in the honors or distinctions stacked up behind someone's name, although today you take on yet another title among many. Rather, true leadership is measured in what you do for those around you. It is measured in an ability to reach out and build a brighter future for all, not just for a lucky few. In this moment of unprecedented change, of rebuilding from the pandemic, of fighting the climate crisis, of walking forward on the path of reconciliation, we need your vision of a stronger Canada for everyone. A vision, as you say, of collective progress towards building a more inclusive, just and equitable society. Today, as our country takes this major step, I am certain that we have gained a leader who will ensure that the changes that we see are built on hope, justice, and a better future that each and every one of us will benefit from. Your Excellency, it will be an honor to work with you as you make this historic function yours. Thank you.
Merci, Monsieur le Premier.